Anyone knows the music right here? It's really catchy. Welcome back for more Sacred Bell, my fellow Antobaldon fighters. Sacred Bell? Sacred Bell! It's G. And today we're taking on the boss of World 6, Lemmy Cooper! Woohoo! What? The message didn't start with, hey, Galebot here. I'm guessing the creator must have forgotten, or is getting really sick and tired of writing these messages. Lemmy's the same as always, he's running on a huge ball. You have to jump on the smaller balls, he shoots out the jump on him. After a few hits, he'll take out a jackpack and start flying around. Jump on him when he's low enough. Gee, thanks for spoiling the whole game. Also, Luigi is running in place right here for a weird reason. It's probably another glitch. <laughs> Alright, a little thing about Lemmy. He's my favorite Koopling. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, can you please let us pass, Lemmy? As much as I want to, I can. My dad will kill me if you pass here. Okay then, let's make this quick. Hold on a second. Alright, now I'm ready. I like to think this boss fight is based off the new Super Mario Bros. Wii boss fight because this game came out in 2010 and new Super Mario Bros. Wii came out in 2009. So yeah, this actually isn't that bad of a boss fight. Wendy's harder than him. Morton's maybe harder than him. At least I thought Morton was hard until I discovered you can just keep holding the Koopa shell and use it to cheap shot all the enemies. Alright, like new Super Mario Bros. Wii, you want to be jumping on the boss to jump on him. Okay, the timing for this is a tiny bit hard to be honest because the moment you jump on the balls uh, they disappear so yeah as with all almost all the other bosses in sacred bells he follows a fixed pattern he shoots two he shoots two lines of spike balls then he shoots the the balls that you can bounce on look you can't actually bounce on this gigantic pink ball that is actually kind of bad you can do that in new super mario bros we not here so you actually need to jump on Lemmy. That's actually a tiny bit difficult. I'm not actually sure what the best way to hit him is. Because I know these things home in on you. Okay, there we go. Got him. I think the best way is to just stand next to him and then the, and then his small boss will uh, home in on you. Then it makes the fight quite a fair bit easier. You need to keep in mind when, what attack he's doing, but overall this fight isn't too bad. I wonder if you can cheese this fight with the propeller shroom. I'm not actually sure on that one. There we go. Oh, okay, I missed there. I, I went off the screen. Uh, this fight is honestly more repetitive than anything because he's always gonna do the two spike ball attacks, then uh, he's gonna use the small ball, the small bouncy ball attack you can actually bounce on. So if anything, this fight takes quite a fair bit of time if you're not used to him. Okay. Oh! Ah, come on! I always bounce off the screen and I can't see where he is. If I die here, I might just use the propeller room and see if that works. Because if it works, I'm golden. Yeah, as you can see, this attack is ridiculously easy to dodge. It's, it's nowhere near tough at all. Oh, joy. I'm having trouble with him. Alright, let's give this one a shot. Okay, you. in theory, I guess you can, but I flopped that miserably. Uh, I have a feeling this fight is easier than I'm making it look, but I just suck at precise bouncing, I guess. Oh, see, look at that, I'm not like when I b bounce off the screen, I'm not actually sure of where on the screen I am, then I just, uh, flail miserably. <laughs> That's the word, flail miserably. Come on, you're giving me way too much trouble than it's worth. Then again, that's every boss after after Wendy. Every boss after Wendy has given me a lot of trouble. Oh gee, I either undershoot or overshoot him. This is bad. As in, the concept of this boss is real nice. He's a pretty easy boss in theory. Again, that's all the bosses, right? I mean, like, Morton's just like, oh, toss a few enemies and a Koopa Shell, and you use the Koopa Shell to hit him. And it's like, uh, nah, he's not hard. This, again, is an easy boss in theory, but... I just flop at these stuff, stuff. Because when I, when I go off the screen, I have no idea where I am, then, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't bounce on the top ball. Maybe I should just bounce on the bottom two. Maybe that works better. But then what if I miss him? Why am I rambling so much is the question. 
Okay, let's see. Will this work? There we go, nice. At least this time I was able to guess where I was on the screen. I just need to repeat that uh three more times. This is the only one of the few two two phrase boss fights there are in the game. Where basically his attack pattern changes when he's low on health. Not a lot of bosses do that. I think only two bosses in the entire game do that actually. Get undershot him. As you can see, yeah, this boss is real repetitive. I mean, the spike balls that get get old real fast. They're also quite actually no, they're really easy to dodge. Just jump after the first and third spike ball, and he'll almost never hit you. Okay, let's see. Will this do? Got him. As long as I can tell where I am up before I go off the screen, I typically won't under or overshoot him. If not, I tend to under and overshoot his ball, and since unlike new Super Mario Bros, where you can't bounce on his giant ball, it counts as a hit, so yeah, this boss is slightly tougher in that regard. This boss is also slightly tougher in the regard that... Ooh crap, <laughs> almost undershot him. In the regard that he takes 5 hits. Again, I am glad that the Koopalings take 5 hits because um, 3 hits is just kind of taking it easy on the boss. Alright, I'm, I got a decent run down, as long as I can get this one. Nope, not happening. Again, you can't... At least you can enjoy the boss theme. I honestly still don't know which game this boss theme is from. I don't think it's a Mario game. It's real catchy. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can get it down this time around. There we go, alright, the second phrase of the boss fight is um, pretty tough. He shoots um, spike balls here, there, everywhere, as well as fire. In theory, this second phrase is easier than the first phrase, but it's still quite easy to get hit when you're low on health. But anyway, you probably got the rough gist of this boss fight down already. Spike ball, spike ball, spike ball. Spike ball, spike ball, spike ball. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really say much about this boss fight. Okay, I flopped that one miserably. Ooh, it's taking longer than it should. Yeah, this boss fight actually takes fairly long because you have to wait for his attack pattern before he gives you an opening. Pretty much, I believe almost every boss from this point kind of does that. They, they. They give they they give you an if, there we go got him oh man that I got hit on the rebound that was harsh they do a ton of attacks then they give you an opening to hit them I believe almost every boss does that from Lemmy I'm not too sure though I may have to double check that one okay let's see what this do one two. Oh, I'm having a lot of trouble with this boss. Maybe I have to come back with a propeller soon. Uh, but the sad part is, you can't actually leave the boss fight once you enter, unless you manually quit the game. Yeah, there's, there's no like, continue exit level. So yeah. Unless you want to see me die 25 times, but... Wouldn't that be a little too harsh on me? Come on, I have standards. I'm not gonna stay here 25 times when each attempt takes about like, one to two minutes. Okay, let's see. Spike ball, spike ball, spike ball, spike ball. Alright, I'm doing good so far. There we go, nice, got him. I just need to get the pen on this one now, I'm not too sure actually. Oops. Ooh. Alright, basically that's this move. When he hits down... Ooh, crap. I just need to dodge his fire move now. I should stop jinxing myself. Oh, so this boss fight is taking way too long. Basically, once you make it to the second phrase, it's sort of a give giveaway because his second phrase is quite easy. You just hit him when he 
dive bombs you, and practically once he does that, he's kinda done. The problem is, I have trouble dodging the fire in the second phase of the boss fight, and that means if I'm running low on health from the first phase, I tend to flop this boss. Nice, got it. Yeah, in theory, he's not a hard boss at all. These spike balls are easy to predict. He has a really, really predictable pattern. The problem is bouncing on him. Since you cannot undershoot or overshoot him because the big pink ball actually counts as a hit, you actually need to land right on his head. It's pretty precise. Got him! Nice. Alright, I'm doing good so far. Again, the bottle of Sacred Bell, since they all follow a pattern, once you get the hang of their pattern, you really shouldn't have a trouble with the boss. Not at all. They all follow patterns. They, they're not random at all. Not random at all. There! Got him! No hit the first phrase of the boss fight. About time. Alright, let's see, is he gonna dive bomb me? Yes he is! Hit! Alright, one more hit should do it. Spike ball attack. Spike ball, um... I, I don't really know how to dodge the fire attack, to be honest. Oh, I, I think I have to fake him out. And got him! That was Lemmy. <laughs> Did I got hit by ground pounding on him when he was dying? If I had died from that, I would be pretty mad. Pretty, pretty mad. Hello, move already. Gee, my game wouldn't respawn there for a moment. Alright, and that's the bell for... That's the bell for Mount Frost. Oh, that boss was a bit tough. Alright, we've ranked six of the seven bells that Toad to have asked us to ring. Oh yeah, you forgotten there was a story in this game? I almost did too. Alrighty then, let's head on, shall we, to World 7, and guess what's it gonna be? Take a guess, take one guess. World 7 is Bowser's Island. Yep, this is going to be... Annoying. Tough. Brilliant. If you enjoyed this episode of Super Mario and the Sick of Bells, do feel free to leave a like. Hit that like button, comment down your thoughts, share this video, or be an anti-bottom fighter and subscribe. And next time, we're gonna be taking on Bowser's Stronghold.